All right, Shalom Akim. Like I said, Kahalal, Yahweh, Ba'ashem Yahushai, Ba'ashem Racha Kodash, Double Honesty Apostles, and others of Great Millstone and Rule Well, and Peace and Salutation to the Akim around the world that pushes through to the four corners of the earth, right? There's your Abba from Trinidad East Camp. I say, although I'll touch on this video, I saw it says, Should African Americans be paid reparation for suffering? For suffering of of their slaves, of their slave ancestors, right? I know YouTube passing certain laws to stop you from posting a lot videos, but I realize YouTube and RT News already is not really the best of friends. So <laughs> I'll quick. I take a chance with a video from RT. But I was talking about some jigs was was debating about um about receiving compensation for what has happened to us in slavery. And just by hearing, just by hearing them talking, you could tell that they don't understand the scriptures, because they they're still trying to receive compensation from somebody who is wicked and will not compensate them. Whereas the Lord Himself said that that Esau will have to pay, and we will receive compensation for what it has happened to us in slavery. All right, I'll get a quick scripture on that before I start the video. So this is um Second Thessalonians one verse six, right? It says seeing it is a righteous thing with power to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you. So you Lord him because scriptures talk about he that touched you touch the apple of his eye, you know, just paraphrasing. So we know that we will actually receive you yeah, understand um they will actually receive the recompense for the things that they did to us but these jakes out here these bugged out jakes they're trying to actually receive that from esau they want to debate with esau to actually have a part in his kingdom because they don't have faith to to, to wait for the kingdom that is to come they want they want to have their kingdom here you yeah, understand the scriptures talk about they want um they want to what we are looking for? They want to receive the consolation here. They don't want to actually go through the hardship now and receive the and, and, and receive the um the full benefits on the other side. So there's um so there's Luke six verse Luke six verse twenty four. It say, "But woe unto you that are rich, for ye have received your consolation." And I really what Jake wants. They wanted to, to, to share in all the riches and things that Esau have. And they don't look forward to the glory that Israel will soon have that is to come. Talking about the long run up to the next US elections and the things that the voters are most worried about, a number of other hot button issues have fired up public opinion. And one of the most controversial is should African Americans in the US be paid reparation for the suffering of their ancestors who were slaves? Democrat presidential contender Cory Booker announced a new bill on the issue. However, a recent poll suggests only 21% of voters would support the move. If adopted, it would entail an official acknowledgement of the legacy of American slavery and compensation payments to those still affected by discrimination as a result. We have to recognize that everybody did not start... The thing about it is, Jake's out just so foolish. He saw a custom lying to them every single day, every single hour, for years upon years, even going back to the native Indians. He saw used to be lying, making treaties and agreements with them and breaking them constantly. And these people still believe that he saw will say, well, all right, we'll compensate you all for it. And they, they believe wholeheartedly that someday they actually might do it. That is such how much faith they have in Esau. And they don't have any faith towards what the Lord say will actually happen to them. So we have got to recognize that and do something about that and give folks a lift up. I believe it's time to start the national full-blown conversation about reparations so that we can, as a nation, do what's right and begin to heal. 
there are massive disparities uh, that must be addressed. So we're going to do everything we can to put resources into distressed communities and improve lives for those people who have been hurt from the legacy of slavery. Conservative commentator Anthony Brian Logan and attorney and author Reese Everson brought their respective corners on it. You could have identified the former slave master and the former slave right at that moment, but we're now 150. Oh, this guy here, you can tell he's a coon, straight up. He's a coon, straight up. One of them Harvard University or them Oxford, you know, them them high them high education level coons. You could tell. Straight up coonology. He just study. You understand? And even people who actually are aware of certain things pertaining to the elites, like the royal families and so forth, who own trillions upon trillions, hundreds of trillions of dollars. Majority of that was made off of slavery. That was the foundation of their actually receiving majority of our wealth. And then they just build on it. And they're not going and give any of that money back to anybody. You understand? But coons like this will always believe that, hey, that, that, that just passed and, you know, they wouldn't have to go through anything because of what they did, even though, just, just because it wasn't them directly that did it. And people like this, they don't believe in the scriptures. They don't know the scriptures. They don't understand the scriptures and they don't want to understand the scriptures. You just want to go with what they find. See, this is um. You see, this is Isaiah fourteen verse twenty one. It said, "Prepare slaughter for his children, for the iniquity of their fathers, that they do not rise, nor possess the land, nor fill the face of the earth with cities." And this is exactly what happened to them. People from all the nations, predominantly Esau, that did this amount of harm to us, they will have to pay for what their forefathers did. Forefathers did. That's what the Lord said. going to pay it people that did not have slaves nobody alive today in 2019 was a slave back then so what are we getting paid for who's getting paid why are they getting paid it's no more than a campaign promise from democratic hopefuls trying to get some kind of attention out here abl abl listen that's the most ridiculous thing i've ever heard they provide economic restitution to those people now if i came into your house mr abl and i stole a thousand dollars from you and then i died or if i stole a million dollars from you and then i died would you say oh well reese died so the money doesn't matter anymore no you would go talk to my children because okay, my see. children are still living off the benefits of that million dollars just because somebody's granddad stole something doesn't mean i'm responsible for it if somebody's granddad was a serial killer and then they found out a hundred years later, you don't go after the kids and say, okay, you got to go to jail now, or you got to pay back some money because of what your grandfather did. It makes no sense. No, there's just two coons arguing, because the one, she's a coon also. You understand? She don't understand the scriptures. She don't understand anything about what the Lord said that will happen to them. She, she also still believes that, like one of them that believes that Esau will actually fulfill these things and compensate them for what is their ancestors went through. You understand? But... Since you know who did it, you should have been able to catch them while they were alive, punish them while they were alive. We want to focus on is the economic harm that was done to black people. If we really break down what slavery was, people were brought from across the water to work, and that was free labor. So what we have is generations and years, hundreds of years of systematic dis uh, discrimination and shutting out of ac economic access to black people, and that has to be repaid. And if we're going to blame the government of the USA, because even though alive. nobody is alive right now, wait a minute, even though nobody's alive right now, 2019, that was alive back then, and then the thing about it is, who's going to pay it? You're talking about the government. The government is funded by the people. That means me, that means you, will pay for it. So how does it make any sense? Like I said, it would have been more Let me tell you how many times the U.S. government slave can. holder paid the slave when reparations would have been due, which is at the end of slavery, not right now. It makes no sense. This whole argument, it just, it's no logic here. America's never even studied. <laughs> Scriptures already say that the wisdom, the wisdom of this world is foolishness to the most high. Sin is Obadiah, Obadiah verse 10. It says, For thy violence against thy brother Jacob, shame shall cover thee, and thou shalt be cut off forever. 
And this goes to the entire nation of Esau. After they serve a certain point in slavery, a certain amount of time in slavery, they will be completely cut off. All of them. Whether it had some who was a wrong at the time when there was whipping, or it wasn't a wrong, or there wasn't taking part in it as much, the entire race of Edom is actually going to answer for what happened. You understand? You can even Edom might suffer in now. And still, they will still have to go through the same penalty. Because that is what is required of the Lord, a recompense. The effects of slavery on black people, they never sat down and said, we know that as a government we sanction this, this, ex this experience, but we don't even know how far that experience reaches because no one's ever studied it. How much do we owe black people? No one's ever studied it. Why? Because the government has literally buried its head, it's paid out everybody else, and, and turned its back on the black people in America who have they given so much due. to want to just strive they to they be a part it. of this they country and with their blood, later. sweat, and tears. They, they paid the money when it was Whether due, it's 150 years, years that's irrelevant. The point is the effects are still there. there. I'm sure you. all these things is confusion. You'll even see that her Hamites, you know, her people from Mizraim, all, all kind of different other dark nations that we dwell in America. So because all of them dark, that means that they should receive the same compensation.